Uh, on the A-level maths course, students will continue with the work that they've started at the GCSE. It's a continuation of trigonometry, of algebraic manipulation, GCSE statistics, and a math science hybridization uh, called mechanics. Uh, you'll have a favourite topic, you'll have a favourite uh, subject to learn. Mine is called partial fractions, which is kind of like the undoing of adding algebraic fractions. Uh, but you'll learn about this thing called calculus, which you've probably heard from on American television, but never really known what it is. But that's something you'll learn uh, on our course. So you have five hours of lessons, and those lessons are normally a mixture of class discussions, of investigations. That's coupled with five hours of independent study, which uh, is generally exam questions or textbook exercises. We provide all of the resources online, so all of the textbooks that you purchase for the course, we provide resources online. We've got full work solutions for all of it as well. So you're never in a situation where if you're stuck on work at home, you have no ability uh, or no method of, of working your way through it. I think at traditional school everyone's doing their A-levels and everybody is doing it. It's kind of like a normal thing to do. It doesn't feel that special or unique. You're going from one lesson to another, so it's kind of like a continuation of GCSE. But at, at Boa, you've got your one A-level that you do and it's this one class that's unique uh, and it's kind of special that you've got these group of people that you're with for those five hours and you don't do it again for any other subject. So the A-levels feel like a bit of a community. It's so, so harmonious, the students are very close, on side. It feels very different maths A-level to GCSE because it feels like a group of people working together on something as opposed to just a classroom of individuals. It's an absolute pleasure to teach because it is just such a lovely group of students each year to, to teach with. So while we've had some students who've gone off and done maths degrees uh, or maths teaching degrees and some that have gone off to do accountancy, I think the main reason students take A-level maths is to get that balance between the academic side uh, and the creative side. I think if you considering A-level maths you probably are getting sixes, sevens, eights, nines across the board and it just gives you that balance between what you're doing, what you want to be doing in your pathway and something a little bit different and I think that's what we're, that's what we're here providing.